Hello everyone, welcome to this electricity question. So in the first part of this question, they would like us to determine the value of A. So that will be the ammeter reading over here. So A is part of the main circuit. We can notice that we've got the EMF, we've got the internal resistance, we've got all of the resistors on the outside. And so A would easily be found by just using the EMF formula, which goes like this. Now, we're trying to find the current. We have the EMF. Well, let's, quit, right, let's put a, uh, we don't know what that is. We know what this is. We know what the internal resistor is. We need to quickly go calculate the external resistance. Remember that R is the external resistance. And so that would be, for example, these two resistors and this one over here, because they are on the outside of the battery. So remember that we don't only add them together because these two here are in parallel. So they need to be cal calculated using the parallel formula first. And so we know that the parallel formula is one over R parallel is equal to one over R one plus one over R two. And so that could be um, one over R parallel is equal to one over 10 plus one over 15. And then what we do is you just add these two numbers together and that'll give us that one over R parallel is equal to one over six. You then flip both of these sides upside down. And so therefore R parallel is six ohms. Now we can take that six ohms and add it to the 10 to find out that R is equal to six plus 10, which is 16 ohms. And so that would be this R over here. So now we can fill in the formula EMF is six, the current we know we're trying to find, then 16, and then the internal resistor is this little one over here, and that's two. And so if we had to go work this out, we would get a final answer of 0, 0,33 amps. Now I'm gonna explain something very, very interesting or very important actually. And if you understand this, it just makes electricity so much better. And you'll probably hear me explain this in a whole bunch of other electricity videos. We know about the formula I equals to V over R, right? We've been using that since grade 10, even grade nine actually. Now, there are different ways that you can use that formula. For example, if you wanna, well, let me first explain this voltage over here, which is connected to the battery like that. Some students think that that is the internal voltage, but remember that that is actually the external voltage. So this voltmeter here measures the external voltage. Your teacher might call it terminal. That is what that voltmeter reads. It's, me it's measuring how many volts is the battery delivering on the outside of the circuit. So if you want to use I equals to the voltage and you're using the external voltage, then which resistor would you use? Well, because you're using the external voltage, you would use the external resistors. And so that would be these two and this one over here. Okay, so I'm actually just going to say R external. We don't really write it as R external, but just so you can understand that. Now, what if, well, let me first explain how it works. So you know if you go into a shop and you buy yourself a battery and on the battery, it says five volts. Now that five volts is the EMF. The EMF is the maximum amount of volts that the battery could deliver. However, when you put the battery into the circuit, the amount of volts that it delivers becomes a little bit less. So for example, your V external here, or let's say it is a six volt battery, actually, because that's what this circuit is using, a six volt EMF. Then on the outside of the battery, let's say for example, the, e um, the outside will be 5.2 volts. So the battery is giving 5.2 volts on the outside. What is happening to the 0 0.8 volts? Well, that 0 0.8 volts is being lost in the battery. That is called the lost volts. So we can say, um, that inside the battery, some of the voltage gets lost. So we can call it the lost 
voltage. Or sometimes I'll talk about it as the internal voltage. So can you understand now that your EMF is the terminal, or you might want to call that your V external, plus your V internal, and or, the, or you can call it the V lost, however you want to do that. So your EMF is a combination of how many volts is your battery giving on the outside, and then plus the voltage on the inside. So you can also use I equals to V over R in another way. If you decide that you want to use the internal voltage, remember that is the voltage that is lost inside the battery because of the internal resistance. So if you want to use this formula, then you can, but then you must use the small r. Now, if you would like to use the EMF as your voltage, now, think about this. What resistors should we use now? Remember that the EMF is everything. The EMF is the internal and the external. The EMF is the maximum. So in that type of scenario, you would actually use the external uh, resistors plus the internal resistance. And if you realize that that is actually just this formula written in a slightly different way. Well, I really hope that you understand this. So, um, if you want to use, you can use this formula, so you use external and R external, or you could use the internal voltage of the battery, but then you must use the internal resistance of the battery, or you can just use the EMF, and then you must use the uh, all of the resistors. Because some students, they just choose any voltage and any resistance. Um, so you've got to be careful with that. And then lastly, let's say you only wanted to calculate the voltage across this little device over here. Then you would just use the normal I equals to V over R, and you would use um, you would use this. Or, or let's say you wanted to calculate the current. Let's say you let's say you already had the voltage. Let's say, for example, the voltage here was um, twenty. Or oh, no. Let's use a more realistic example. Let's say the voltage is two volts. I'm just using an example, it's not the real numbers. Then if you wanna calculate the current just going in this part, then you would also use I equals to V over R, and then you would use the two volts, and that two volts is only for the 10 ohm resistor. So grade 11 and 12, um, electricity is actually all about using I equals to V over R and you need to know which voltage goes with which resistor. If you can get that, it becomes a very, very nice chapter. And also once you do realize that, you realize that there's normally multiple ways that you can do the same question. So you might, you might, there will be multiple ways that you can answer it. So your friend might do it one way, you do it another way. Um, that, that's very normal. It can happen like that. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all these values because those are just made up values. All right, so let's have a look. So they want us to determine V. So now remember, that's the external voltage. So if you want to use the external voltage, then you can you can use I equals to V over R once again. And then we can use the external voltage um, and the, the external um, resistance and the current. Now, by the way, in this part of the formula, all of those I's were the I's that are part of the uh, main circuit. Those were all part of the main circuit. Um, for example, when I showed you this one over here, that was main circuit because it's in the part of the, it's in the main circuit. Um, when we calculate V external, we're using the current in the main circuit. When we're using this inside here, it's part of the main circuit. It's only when you're calculating voltage over here that you are using the current that is in this part over here, and that's not going to be the main circuit current. That will be the current. For example, if there's three amps coming over here, and then two amps goes this way, and then one amp goes that way, then you'll see that through this one, it's only two amps. It's not the main circuit. The main circuit is this part here. Right, so we already know what the current in the main circuit is. It's 0, 0,33. So we can say 0, 0,33 here equals to V external over the external resistors. Now, if you can remember earlier, we went and calculated this part over here when we combined them in parallel. And we got 6 ohms 
plus this 10 ohms. And so your external voltage is, I mean your external resistance is 16 ohms. And now if we had to go multiply that, we're gonna end up with V external as 5.28 volts. Now that makes sense. Your battery is a six volt battery and it will never be able to deliver all of that because of the internal resistors. And so your external voltage, which is the voltage actually going to the circuit is 5.28. Now, if you're getting a different answer, it's because you're not, it's because you're using a non-rounded value from there. Now there's always this big debate about rounding. So the way that I handled this was, this was an actual question. So I use the rounded off value for that. But on the memos, they sometimes do give you a range of answers based upon if you use the rounded or the non-rounded. Okay, rounding's always been a bit of an irritating one, hasn't it? Because there's no clear guidelines. Um, each school does it differently. Each teacher's got their own way. So yeah, if you use the non-rounded value, your answer might be a little different to mine. But yep, that's it for this one. I hope it was good. Please remember all of these different things here. Once you start getting that, this chapter becomes amazing.